Hello, welcome to Forestry. It's kind of going to be kind of a guide, kind of a messing around thing. Um, uh, I wasn't really sure exactly what to do. See, we've got some alvaries. Um, one of the things about the alvaries, of course, they're three by three alvary blocks. Uh, like I said, this will be messing around, but uh, see, there's a sieve here. We'll just put our woven silk in there. That'll be able to get the pollen from all the trees we're going to have around here. And basically, the way it works is the, 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 you, the bees come along, right? And then they... Um, uh, and then the, you have to like um, I right, get a load of bees. Here we go. Obviously, this is you would actually just find these, and they wouldn't just be sitting in a line like that. This get very, very unusual world spawning. Um, but yeah, so the way it works is you have all your trees around here, and then the bees will breed, and all sorts of fun stuff will happen. Um, the most important block in forestry, though, is this: the escritoire. And what the escritoire does is it actually tells you what all the mutations are going to be. Um, and, yeah, so if you look at the interface here, we can see we've got a load of bees, right? Uh, we've got some modest, we've got some valiant. Uh, we should have all the... Uh, so we'll look at, obviously, there are certain ones which... Uh, everyone thinks about these, right? So the forest drone, right? So here's a forest drone. We put it in the middle slot like that. And then we're going to put some honeycomb. Um, obviously, we'll get a honeycomb uh, and a drop and stuff like that. Uh, you can see we've got some random drops here as well. Um, and then what happens is, is that you just press this examine specimens button. You can see we've got Myri drone, Myri drones. So we click that top one, click the bottom one. Uh, this is basically just a match two. We've got an avenging drone and a vengeful drone. Uh, they're kind of similar. And also, take a note of the background color. I noticed this was Binny's mod. The, the, the actual background color is very, very important. Uh, unfortunately, well, all right. So you can see I've matched those two, so the final two will be like this. And you can see that once I've matched those up like that, yeah, um, what happens is we get this. There's mutation discovered. Wintry and Forest uh, is going to get a Merry drone, right? Um, so did we actually get... Uh, so we could actually try that, couldn't we? See if we get a Merry. Because we've got the Alvary over here. We may as well try it. Um, and uh, all right, so we'll take that note and we'll take the extra honeycomb we get. Um, and we'll get the uh, this forest drone back. And if we look, one thing about this forest drone, right, is obviously, right, you need to have... Um, uh, and the thing about the escritoire, I should mention, is you can put in this middle slot, you can put in the trees and the butterflies in there as well. The butterflies, incidentally, you actually get... Um, you do bees first, then trees, and you build a big, uh, like a big enclosed structure. It's supposed to be about 50 by 50, huge enclosed structure. And then the butterflies... Will come along and they'll drop their they'll drop their pollen stuff on the leaves. So that's sort of how it works with like the pollen because some of the items, right? You sort of think like it's like where do they sort of come from, sort of thing. Um, you know, with the uh, forestry stuff, um, you know, the larvae and stuff like that. And I believe a lot of this stuff, you know, to get the caterpillars and stuff, uh, the, the, the if they fly about because they all have a, a lifespan. The butterflies will all die. But the butterflies is, is really intended for late game when you've got like, uh, you know, really a, a real load of mutant trees and stuff. Um, uh, the pollen though, like I said at the beginning, is going to come from the sieve. All right. All right. So what can we say about this? So obviously what I just did in the uh, is script while well, I'm going to go back to that now. Um, um, oh yeah, I should, I should get it. So obviously you, you have the bee elizer, the tree elizer and the flat elizer. So we'll get the Bealizer first, and I'll just show you what that has actually done. So if we put in the, um, if we put in the, we open up the Bealizer, we put in our honey drops, and we put in our forest drone. What you're going to see is in the fourth tab here, there's no mutations there, right? Because I haven't done anything. I literally just opened, created this world like about five minutes ago, right? But, um, if we take this note, which I remember this said, wintry and forest is going to be uh, merry, right? So we can right click on it and it says you memorize and dispose. And now when we put this uh, um, forest drone in here, what we're going to see is actually going to tell us, all right, forest and wintry will make a merry drone, right? Um, so, yeah, so forest and wintry. So say we have this forest princess and a wintry drone, right? Uh, so probably it would be better to take those um, from, uh, if we're going to have any chance, we may as well get a forestry princess of pristine stock and we'll take a, a wintry drone. Uh, and 
I don't think we can specify that. Um, so I think we can just put it in the alvary. Uh, we should, we're not going to give you any, the reason we're not going to get any pollen is because there's no trees around. Um, but you do need to have this woven silk thing in the left there. And that will, that will take the pollen from the bees. Normally they would use to pollinate the trees will actually go into the, uh, the alvary sieve. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, forest princess and a wintry drone. So that seems to be about the best I can do with that. Uh, yeah, the thing is I'm not even sure about the rules for the... Uh, I don't even know if this is actually working. Doesn't look like it is though, does it? I guess I can check with an apiary. If we have a forest drone and a wintry princess. Is it going to give me any problems here? Ah, bollocks. It's the wrong biome. All right, so basically I can't. Oh, it is working. Really? Oh yeah, it is working. But you see, it doesn't work there. Maybe I did it in the opposite order. That's interesting, I have to watch that video. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure some people will know why that happened. Uh, Because I, know, I do know, right, there are things that, like, when you look at the alvary blocks, there are things like the heater and the fan, but I haven't actually put those on, so I wonder why that has actually happened. And the, these, these actually will let, let the, uh, the breeding happen normally, right? Um, but, yeah, like I say, I mean, but really, I mean, with this, it really is a case of you just put in, like, so, for instance, we've got our marshy, um, and we can just keep on... Now, one thing I've noticed, right, is if you look at the amount of times it's coming up there, it's not that many, right? But if I take this mossy comb, which is the comb from the marsh, marshy um, bees, right? If I take this comb, what you'll actually see is that you'll actually get... It, it seems to be better to use the right kind of comb. You can see, look, it's already looking... It's much easier, so we can get this secluded. We've got noble and agrarian there. Um, so we'll make, we can mix... Basically, you need to use a lot less of this stuff... Um, um, so you can see that Marshy and Myri is going to be uh, boggy. Okay, so here's an interesting thing, right? When do we then get this and then put it straight back in? You can see we can actually do multiple ones on the same bee. Well, that's pretty cool. So we've got I'm Weary here, uh, Steadfast and Tropical. Uh, so we'll mix, we'll connect up these. And then we get this. So, marshy and tropical is going to make common. So that's not as interesting, um, obviously. Um, but basically, by doing this, you can populate the whole thing, right? Um, so if we look at this marshy, if we look at this marshy B, where be the mar oh yeah. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, so we get the uh, the B Eliza out again. And then we can um, put in the uh, marshy one there. And you can see marshy and miry is going to be boggy. Marshy and tropical is going to be common. So we can see we can mix it with the tropical. Um, the things seem to be working quite well in this. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's not working exactly well. It's going very, very slowly. Um, but I get the feeling maybe the alvary can just work fine anyway. All right, so so like I said, I was going to I was going to show a few other things as well, just that I've been looking at. So if we get now get the tree eliza, and, and instantly all these things, you know, it's just it's, I'm not going to go into how you should make them because it's kind of it's just you know the carpenter and all the seed oil and all that sort of stuff. It's not that complicated to understand to make them. The, the actual this all this stuff is way more complicated. Um, so yeah. Um, and obviously, the way you actually get to the uh, the very beginning stage is uh, in the uh, you know you would put in your sapling in in here, and then 
just I'll just grab those out of the beer lines actually. So we'll go back to the treeizer. We'll put in the uh, uh, the oak sapling there. Put in some honey drops, and you can see now this has actually got that. Now here's an interesting thing, right? I'm not sure exactly, but I get the feeling that you can probably use the screw tool in the same way. Because when you do put the, the uh, this in here, you can see stuff occasionally pops up. In incidentally, though, if you try putting in apple pollen. Then you get to the same, back to the same level of things popping up very, very quickly. So you can see, literally, you've got, you can see, literally, we, it's going to take us like a couple of steps to get there. And it may not make much difference at this stage, but the point is, right, is that when, um, if you have, imagine that all these slots were filled up, uh, and then you had to make pairs, then it would be, it would be more awkward. Obviously, we didn't even actually need to do that. So we can say that red spruce and apple oak will make mundane larch. Um, one thing I will point out though, um, and I did actually notice this, is that this does not actually um, change anything, right? So if we, like I say, if we go to the, um, so you do actually need, I think you do need to actually really develop the whole area much better than this. Um, so if we do look at this, uh, this apple thing, right? we can see there's nothing there then we then take the note and it, it says oh yeah yeah it's all done but it's not actually done so that is a bit confusing um, so it hasn't really done anything um, so in those cases it would be obviously be better just to keep the note because otherwise you're just going to forget what it is I think the idea with the note is that you actually read it uh, you keep it there until you've actually managed to to unlock it, I guess. Um, I'm not sure we can actually just bone mill these. I can't remember the rules for that. Um, but yeah, you can. And then... Um, and yeah, and, and I think possibly there will be some stuff here if we start planting all the different range of trees. So that, I mean, that's the way you would do. You would just start planting all the... Um, you first of all get all these vanilla trees, wouldn't you? Um, and I, I guess the advantage of these notes is that even with the notes, even if it doesn't actually show up in the menu there, uh, that's yeah. Oh, sorry. This obviously you do have to convert it first. Um, so if we get the uh, spruce. We can try this one as well. Um, and then what you do is you build everything up, and then because the only way to actually get the but because the butterflies don't just exist on their own, right? The butterflies have to actually start spawning, um, and they start spawning when you've done a load of this stuff, right? So you can see, right? I've done this with the apple oak pollen, and nothing has actually appeared, even though I've actually completed it. So that means it, it, this. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to just try with honeycomb. I'm just curious to see if that will actually do anything. I mean, obviously, I'll be able to complete it. Um, but again, you do need to have the pollen for it. And the pollen can only be acquired from uh, getting it. Because uh, the bees are flying about. And incidentally, um, the other... Uh, there's certain traits with some of the bees, like nocturnal. Like, for instance, these bees are not... Are not I mean, it should still be working, but it's, it's probably stopped by now, right? Um... I'm pretty, I mean, you can't really tell if it stopped or not, but I'm pretty sure it has. And there's certain things that, you know, in terms of uh, light, uh, like the lighting levels and the, and the nocturnal, they, they again are to do with the, the alvary, uh, uh, the things to, you know, the, uh, the, the heat of the fan, stuff like this. Um, so they're important to know some of the traits of the bees. Um, but yeah, so for this, right, I would need to use the, uh, I guess I'd need to use um, is that become actually yeah? When did that spruce sapling actually? It's pretty still near scritoire. Yeah, but yeah. So again, you do need to use the correct pollen uh, in the escritoire. Um and this obviously is going to work now, right? So, all right. So we'll just do this one, I guess. Uh, uh, we'll just get this very large tree, the sequoia, incidentally. 
Um, and you see the red, uh, the red spruce and silver birch is going to make the mundane larch. So that's again, that's an early tree. Um, and again, I guess it's not going to show up in the. Uh, I'm not sure if it shows up anywhere really. Um, um, so we'll just. Uh, I'll actually just do it straight away instead of just trying doing twice. And yeah, and so later on, anyway, what you will do is you will actually get to the butterfly. It's not shown up, but. It's still going to be useful, isn't it? And I, and I guess maybe that would show up if you've actually got some pollination of the bees. Maybe that's the thing that actually unlocks. That would be an interesting thing to, to see. Anyway, later on, even for... And obviously, I'm just paraphrasing, paraphrasing the sort of whole game here, really. Later on, you would get the, uh, the butterflies as well. Um, so you would get in this uh, Lepidopterology tab. Um, you get the uh, moth... And you see the... Uh, the, the in the larvae and they I think they lay the butterflies actually do something they'll 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 do they'll be like bees but a bit slower but they will have to spawn within once you've actually done everything first that's sort of the, the sort of the message behind that um, so I believe these these can these work with honeycomb again there may be problems with it um, again you can see it's not really working properly so if I do it like this uh, it does sort of kind of work but it's obviously not the way to do it you do, you do get it, and maybe with the but the butterfly seems to work okay, um, and you get the moth, and I believe, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. I believe what we can do as well is, I think maybe we can release this thing, and it will actually turn into a butterfly after a few seconds. Maybe it's not doing that anymore. I thought it did actually turn into a butterfly. Hmm. It doesn't, it's not actually been a, let's flutterize it, maybe then it will. Um, let's just take uh, these out. But like I said, this is, this is the end game with the butterflies. Um, hmm. But as you can see, the important thing to know is that everything goes in the bloody escritoire, so that's pretty important to know. Um, uh, then we can put in the, the uh, honey drop and moth. So you see, that is actually a butterfly. You can see the things it's saying on it. And I wonder if that will turn to a butterfly. Now. It might be. But like I said, it may, be, it may be. The reason it might not be doing it, though, I have a feeling I know why. The reason I'm pretty sure is, is because it's not in an enclosed area. Let me just surround this. I'm not sure if I can actually trick the butterfly. Yeah, I think, to be honest, you need it to be much larger than this. All right, so I'm gonna grab that. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop it in there. Not well, doesn't matter really. I'm not sure if you can actually do that. Hmm, it doesn't look like I can. I'd like to know how these butterflies work though. I'm pretty sure you need a massive greenhouse though. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, uh, and yeah, and obviously you couldn't actually have them because once you, unless you do like everything in the game, they are late game stuff. Um, so I wonder if anything has happened here. No, I just got a load of forest. No, oh, that's unpo That's not good. I don't think that worked properly, though. I think, like, it's like, it's like, you can see. One other thing as well is there is the uh, the habitat locator. So you can see we're in a normal, normal biome. Um, and I think, then obviously, the wind tree is not going. I'm not going to like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so like I say, it's not really been much of a, 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 it's not really a kind of demonstration, but at least I've tried to explain some of these things. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I might, I might, I might do more with this. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's obviously, there's also a lot of extra add-ons to this. It's been a very big thing uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, quite a long time, actually. But I thought I'd just uh, have a little, you know, little look at it again. So, thanks for watching.